Hello everyone, this is uh, Gen Z Catholic here. I have kind of a different video today. Most of my videos I like to be, uh, you know, scripted out and plan every word I'm going to say, but I'm going to do one that's a little more off the cuff here, pretty short one. Um, and basically, I just want to talk about why Catholics should not be going to Books A Million. And this this seems like the most random thing in the world, you know. I read a lot of books, so, you know, it seems strange to single out this bookstore and say, oh, no one should should go here, but... Really, there's some uh, surprising things with this. So I guess I'll start with uh, a little bit of backstory. Um, a little bit ago, uh, probably a few weeks now, I was in Terre Haute, uh, Terre Haute, Indiana. And I was uh, visiting a friend there. And at one point, uh, there was really, like he was at work, so I didn't really have anything to do. And I went to the bookstore just because, you know, I just wanted to kill an hour or two. And... So I went to Books A Million, and this is the the one on US 41 in Terre Haute, Indiana. And I noticed as I walked in, oh, there were a couple like pagan books. And I expect that. I see that everywhere by this point. And so I didn't really think much of it. I just kind of scoffed it off. I think I think I actually audibly scoffed there in the store. And so I, I eventually I was looking in the uh, just various sections, and I noticed that there was the mind, body, and spirit section. And I was like, okay, this is that's code for new age. We all know that. And there's a lot of like spirit books there, just dumb things. And then I noticed I ran into the section again. And I was like, that's weird. I thought it was all the way on the other side of the store. I thought maybe I just had a mixed up map uh, in my head, a weird layout. And so I ran into the section a third time. And I said, why do they have so many mo mind, body, and spirit sections? Uh, and I realized there's a lot of New Age stuff in here. I was like, in each of these sections, there was just so much pagan stuff it was so strange you know astrology tarot weird vague spirituality and so i spent the next 40 minutes just like taking pictures of all of this because i'm like this is weird for just one bookstore there is so much here and a lot of it was right next to various kids sections so there'd be like kids toys and then right next to that would be like a bunch of tarot cards or something like that and so i i thought that was strange and I ended up started taking some pictures and it, okay what's weird is I didn't take pictures of any of the stuff that was implicitly new age it was only the stuff that was explicitly new age so there were a lot of stories that are kind of like Harry Potter where it's you know cool witches uh going on fun adventures with their superpowers that they got from the devil and rebel against the uh the oppressive current norms that say women shouldn't be using magic outside the house so like dumb stuff like that and I, I didn't take pictures of any of that. I only took pictures of the explicit uh, New Age stuff. And I was surprised by how much I found. Here, you guys can take a look.
So, yeah. Wow. There, there's a lot there. There is a lot. And just so you know, in that montage, I did not repeat any pictures. Uh, that was, that was literally how much there was. And so basically I had gone to an employee after that and I kind of expected this would be how the interaction played out, but I walked up to one of the employees and I, I just said, you know, I, I was using my theater voice. I wasn't exactly like yelling or making a scene, but, you know, I was projecting so people throughout the entire story would be able to hear. And so I basically just said, this is the worst store I've ever been in. And, uh, you know, this is really patronizing lady. She's like, oh, and I was like, yeah, around every single corner you have, you know, satanic stuff, new age stuff, um, occult magic, and you keep all of it right next to the kids section. You know, I'd planned out what I was going to say beforehand, so it flowed a lot better. And uh, so, yeah, I just reiterated, you keep it all right next to the kids section. You should feel ashamed of yourselves. And she had just given a really patronizing, ah, I'm sorry. And it was it, she, like she was trying to be patronizing about it. So I just kind of walked out of there. That's pretty much how I thought the uh, interaction would, would go. But I, I just think to myself, when when she faces her particular judgment, she'll, ne- she'll not be able to say, she was never warned. And who knows? Maybe that'll sit with her a little while. Maybe she'll actually realize the amount of New Age stuff and she'll say, hey, maybe I should not be involved with this anymore. I don't know. I hope and I pray for the best. But basically, Books A Million is a New Age store. You, They don't have this much New Age stuff just by accident. It's most of what they have there. It's a New Age store that's pretending to be a common you know, bookstore. They, they just so happen to carry things on, oh, language learning and, and uh, business and stuff like that. It is a new age store. And we shouldn't, as Catholics, be supporting uh, things like this because we know if, I mean, it maybe gets a little more complicated with Barnes & Noble. I'd have to look into it. But I don't think Barnes & Noble is going to be taking money and then putting it into new age stuff. I I know they make some stuff, but it's it's part of a large sea of stuff that they actually make. I might be wrong about what I'm saying right now. I might look into Barnes & Noble. I haven't been to one in a while and completely 180 what I'm saying. But New Age is just a small thing they make, whereas Books A Million, it is a New Age store. So we we should not be going here. And I think most importantly, we as Catholics should pretend like our religion is actually true because it's seen as a virtue nowadays to pretend like your own religion isn't even true. Uh, You know, you say, oh yeah, that's, that's stuff that they want though. You know, the new agers, there's a market for that. So we should just go ahead and let them do their thing. We'll do our thing and, you know, not bother anyone. This is not the attitude of the saints. The the saints would not say, uh, you know, St. Boniface did not say, oh, I'm going to let people worship a uh, tree deity. You know, he went out there with an ax. We should, we should at the very least, boycott these stores. That's the bare minimum. I, If I had the money, I would buy every single book in Books A Million and I'd burn it. Um, but unfortunately, I know everyone uses the argument like, oh, that money goes to them and then they print more. It's like, this is a hypothetical where I have infinite money. It's, it's I'm not saying I can. it's literally going to economically work. It's about a principle here. I think if you come into possession of this stuff or you realize you have some of it in your closet, it is a good thing to burn it. We should stop pretending like our own religion isn't even true. So that's the moral of this story. Boycott these stores like a pagan would boycott a Christian store because you know, you know they're going to go nowhere near a Christian bookstore that all they sell is Christian stuff and maybe has a business section. You know they would boycott it. They would never set foot in there. They'd probably, you know, catch on fire if they did. It's it's we should have that same type of aversion to evil that they have to good. So that's the moral of this story boycott it like a pagan would boycott a christian store anyways uh i'm gonna have some more scripted videos for you guys soon i know i get kind of excitable and um not very articulate when i'm speaking off the cuff uh but i think the scripted videos are a lot better and i think it's what's going to end up performing a lot better so hope you guys stay tuned to that and until next time god bless